Hey Leos, welcome to your Racy card reading. As the thumbnail suggests, um, there may be some explicit content. I don't want to offend anybody, so if you're easily offended, please click off now. Fair warning, right? If you're new, welcome. Please remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get all the messages I post each month. Oh, an extra one wanted to come for you guys and the only one that flipped over. This could be the one. Um, I guess that's the most important thing for you to hear, right? Being the first card seen. Um, to my lovely loyal subscribers, thank you. As always, I'll leave information about what decks of cards um, I'm using and how to contact me for personal readings in the description box. Oh, gosh. Oh gosh, these was reversed, right? Um, so, can't get over this person, this true love. Release this energy, the time has come. True love, this is a romance of a lifetime. This could be the one. You know who you want. And my heart is set on you. <laughs> you better shape up. <laughs> these cards better turn up. <laughs> Uh, reconciliation. Somebody from your past is returning to your life. You've already met the romantic partner you'd seek. Or I'm guessing they're seeking you. You might be trying to clear their energy from you. And they think you're the one for them. You're the one that I want. <laughs> it's going to be stuck in my head all day now. Okay, let's see. Let's see what we have going on for my lovely Leos here. Oh, no. <laughs> Not that stubborn Scorpio, the death card. Uh, you know, we're lovely. I'm a Scorpio, I know. Some of you may hate us right now, um, but we're lovely, really. We love you forever. Eight of Cups, the Emperor. Uh, so they wanted to walk away. Now they want to come back. Let's see here. Okay, Eight of Swords, they can't get over you. They're stuck thinking about you, obsessing about you. I think Scorpio's video was actually something about obsessing. Hangman, okay, so they're looking at the situation differently now. They're looking at this connection with you differently. They may have felt like it wasn't right for them, it wasn't good for them, but as we can see, <laughs> they're having a change of heart and you're the one that I want, right? Um, they want to reconcile here with you. They feel like you're the one for them, okay? This is somebody who thinks about you all the time. Um, as well as maybe going through enlightenment with the hanged man. Um, I guess that could be you going through an awakening. Ten of pentacles. Major change in um, what's going on with your life. Maybe even with your money here. Um, with your family life. But still, through all these changes, you still think of them. And it seems like they still think of you. Of course it could be them that's thinking of you and you want to release your ex. You may feel like, why do I keep thinking of them? It's because they're thinking of you. They're coming into your energy here, the sun. Um, <clears throat> some of you will say yes, some of you have healed from this connection and just need to cleanse your energy and your home and um, you know stuff around you. They may even be asking you for clarity. So this person may come into your life and say, you know, I still want you. I still want to be with you. I still think about you. Do you still think about me? So it could be that this person wants to ask you questions here. Or it could be that, you know, you're both thinking about each other. But their mind has definitely changed about the way things were between you. They may have felt you wasn't right at one time. Hey, they may have even felt the grass was greener and they realized ain't nobody as good as you Leos, right? You was the warmth in their life. I mean, you might feel like it's done, it's over. But this is somebody returning from your past. Don't shoot the messenger. They just think you're the one for them. Magician, they're going to try and start something up and... Boy, do Scorpios and Leos have chemistry. Of course, it's not just Scorpios. It could be another Leo you're dealing with, an earth sign, air here. Um, but Scorpio indicated with the magician as well. Um, they, you might feel like they've put a spell on you. 
uh, some sort of magic going on here. They could even be doing that, you know? They could be. They could be. Um, but this seems... I think it's because um, you feel truly in love with this person. You may have even never felt like this before. Or they feel truly in love with you. And they feel like the only answer to this situation is to have you back in their life. So they're doing everything they can to get you back in their life. They're thinking about you a lot. So you might even see signs from them. Think about them too, just randomly pop into your head. They're trying to manifest some sort of meeting with you. So you may bump into each other thinking about each other a lot. You know, when you say, I was just thinking about you and you bump into them. Four of Cups, uh, they're not stalking you. <laughs> they're just accidentally bumping into you outside your home. <laughs> um, but they have this love offer for you. Um, they may be asking you to even leave somebody else here. And you're like, stop it. I'm with somebody. Um, you're my past. I'm trying to move on. And so this is definitely somebody going to shoot their shot with you, right? They're going to make you this love offer. And if you're bored in a relationship, maybe you should end it first and clear that energy and heal from that before getting into a new relationship. Um, some of you will be rejecting this person. You've had enough. Uh, and you're moving on with somebody else, like I say. And, and they're not taking no for an answer. Nine of Cups. You're their ninth cup. You're the one that they want. Why is that coming out so much? Um... Your self-respect just makes you more romantically attractive to them. The more you say no, the more they want you here. I mean, they're not going to stop trying with the magician. They see you as the one. They do. It's just like they have this clear vision now with the sun. The sun came out and like, I can see clearly now. <laughs> the rain has gone. Eight of Wands. They are going to be texting you everywhere on your phone on your facebook on your instagram looking the you know message requests or something i'm pretty sure you're gonna have a million messages there eight of wands um two of swords so some of you are on the fence um when you receive this message you might be open to communication because as you see your legs are open here and they're being beckoned in um, so you might just be like rejecting them because they rejected you first, but I feel overall you might just say, come on then, we do have this, uh, chemistry and I do need, um, milking, <laughs> feeding, um, so yeah, go ahead, the, make a decision, pick, do you want them or not? Um, so, like I said, the four of cups for some is rejection, but this is somebody who's obsessed with you. I don't think they are going to... Um, give up easily. Two of Swords in this deck is not indecision. It's sometimes playing hard to get, but it's not indecision. They know what they want. They've already met the romantic partner they seek. Uh, five of Cups, it, they miss you now. Oh, I'm sorry, I miss you. Bringing you flowers, bringing you birthday presents. Happy birthday. They're going to be giving you all, any excuse to message you. They really miss you here. They feel like a lot of emotion for you. You can see all the water here for something that's um, past Five of Cups. They're crying over something that's already happened. So there's this sadness, this longing to be with you. I mean, Leos are gorgeous. Us Scorpions can't resist. But um, yeah, somebody here from your past misses you. They see you as their true love. They may have tried to get over you, but they just can't. So now they're like, well, how do I fix this problem? The magician, how do I work this out? I can't go on missing them forever. I need to tell them they're my ninth cup. So this can even be somebody who left you, not you leaving them. Because when we leave with the eight cups, we leave in search of our ninth cup. And they're, oh, that was my ninth cup. So now they're missing what they once had. And they're going to communicate with the eight of wands. Some of you are going to positively move forward with this reconnection because you both feel the same now. This was Ten of Pentacles, a very stable relationship that came to an end. But somebody's got clarity now with the sun. As well as healing, I have clarity. You're the one that I want. And I'm going to stop this reading because I'm sick of saying you're the one that I want. 
um, somebody's watching Grease or something, um, doing a Sandy and a Danny, you know, like, you better shape up and they've come out, you know, that girl that gets heartbroken and then comes out, yeah. Um, I prefer, I love Grease actually, but I'm sick of saying it in this reading. Um, check out Jar Rules and Ashant is mesmerised. Good luck, guys.